Figaro's... I mean, one never gets tired of it. You think, oof, will I be able to play that scene with the chair again? But um, actually, it's always funny. And the score is always moving. You get to Act 4, and you're wondering, will the Countess forgive the Count for all his terrible indiscretions? Um, and worse, his infidelity. Um, and, and you know he, you know she will, but there's still a, a, a kind of clenching moment when you're willing her to forgive him. Um, I, and it's a fantastic story. We, we play it really in 18th century Seville, um, where it's set, because I just feel that the, um, the class relationships are very detailed and very important. Um, I didn't think there was a point in relocating it anywhere. Uh, this is um, a revival of a production I've done that looked beautiful with uh, one of the singers from that first production. Um, and it's going to be given a new lease on life by a really brilliant uh, choreographer and director, Bernadette Eglitch. Um, it's a strong young cast, um, really some wonderful emerging British artists, w ready for the roles. I mean, um, th there's nobody who I think is just on the edge of being able to do it. They're all well and truly ready. They're exciting people. Um, I'm sad that I'm not going to be in the rehearsal room all the time because this one's always such fun.